Hey and welcome in my new video in my shape series. I'm going to be showing you how to make a bunch of different shapes and um, today we're going to be working on a sphere. And sphere is actually one of probably the most used shapes in emigrumi. So um, you know, whether you just want to practice making shapes or you want to make your own patterns and want to know how to make a certain shape, uh, sphere is really important to, uh, to know how to make. So let's start. We will be starting with a magic ring and in the magic ring we will do six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we can close our magic ring. I like to use a little uh, piece of yarn to as a stitch marker. Um, if you don't know this technique, I have a video on it, uh, so I will link this in the description. Um, but yeah, basically I use this yarn as a, as a stitch marker so that I know where my round ends and begins. Now that I've done the first round, which was just six single crochet, I will now do six increases, which will give me 12 stitches in the end. I'm sorry if you hear some noise there building next to my house. Now that we've done the six increases, we will do um, an increase and then a single crochet and repeat that six times. Um, you'll notice that what we are basically doing now is we are just making a circle because a circle is the start of a sphere. So I'll do an increase and then a single crochet and we just repeat that all the way around so an increase and then single crochet increase single crochet increase Single crochet, increase, single crochet, and the last of the six repetitions, increase, single crochet. Now, you need to decide what size you want your circle to be. I mean, you want your sphere to be. I want it um, a bit bigger than this, so I'm going to do another round, uh, which will just be the round that I also do for a circle, which is an increase and then two single crochets. You'll notice that we started with, uh, like our second round was just increase and repeat that all around. Our third round was increase single crochet, like one single crochet, repeat that. Um, now we're doing increase two single crochet and so if you want your sphere to be bigger um, you'll just continue doing you know increase one then the next round is increase and then two single crochet after that increase three single crochet increase four single crochet so every round that you're making you're just uh, adding one single crochet uh, to the road like to the part that you repeat so here it is, increase, and then two single crochet, and we repeat that all around. If you make 
a really large circle, you might notice that it starts to look a bit more like a hexagon than a circle. Um, if that happens to you, you can use a technique called staggering your circle, um, which I also have a video about. Um, so I'll link to that video in the description as well. And um, yeah, that video just shows you how to uh, how to deal with that and um, how to make your circle perfectly round. Um, I think when you're making a small sphere, uh, it doesn't matter too much. But when you're making a really large ball, you might notice uh, you might notice the difference. So yeah, like you can. You can see that looks slightly hexagonal, but I think uh, with a ball, especially if you're filling it after, um, you're not going to notice this. So now that we've made our circle, we are now going to make it 3D by just doing a few rounds with um, only single crochets. So I'm going to do three rounds with only single crochets. And um, you'll notice that that is going to make the whole thing look more rounded. So you can see it kind of folded like this in my case, but I want to fold, let's not lose the loop, I want to fold it the other way around because I think uh, I like this, uh, this part of the better. Um, you can see it already kind of starts to look like a circle um, because this will round. Um, if you don't want that uh, the top and the bottom to be round, I'm going to make uh, another video about how to make a cylinder, uh, which will give you kind of um, more pointed edges here. But yeah, that's for another video. I'm going to make a ton of videos. And that was the second round where we just did a 24 single crochet um, and I want to do a third round um, just to make the yeah the circle a little I mean the um, the sphere like the ball a little uh, bigger so I'm just gonna do one more round of single crochet
Okay, so I quite um, like the way that this looks right now. Um, and now I kind of want to go inwards again. If you want your sphere to be longer like this, you can just continue doing more rounds of single crochet and that will give you a longer thing. For example, if you're making an arm for emigurumi or the body, you might want to have this be longer. But if you make a face, maybe you just uh, want to, you know, start going inwards again now. But, you know, that's totally your option, um, the way that you want your shape to be. So I'm, ho I'm going to go inwards again, but, you know, just decide what kind of shape you want and then you can make that. To go inwards again, I am going to do one decrease and then two single crochet. Um, that is because the last round that we did before the single, before the constant single crochet was increase and then two single crochet. So now we are going to do decrease and then two single crochet. If you made a bigger circle, uh, because you wanted a bigger ball, maybe you ended on increase five single crochet. In that case, you now have to do decrease five single crochet. But since I ended with increase two single crochet, I will do decrease two single crochet. Decrease two single crochet. And we'll repeat that all around, which will be six times. So you can already see that um, it is now kind of, you know, it, the ball it was going outwards, then it stayed around the same for a little bit, and now it's going inwards again. So since we just repeated um, the decrease two single crochet, now we're going to do decrease one single crochet. What you can also do is count how many stitches you have, like if you don't remember where you're at, you can count how many stitches you have, um, because I had 18 stitches after this, uh, after the previous row, uh, so you count how many stitches you have, and then you, uh, you know that you repeated everything six times, so um, I had six sets of three stitches, and that means I do decrease and then one single crochet. But if you're at, you know, at 24 stitches, um, you have six sets of four stitches, which means that you will do decrease two single crochet. Since we are now at the last round, I'm going to remove my stitch marker, which I can just tug out, and I will um, I will stuff this uh, this little ball that I made. A 
I'm just gonna get some stuffing and put it in there. What I often like to do is I just get the end of a pencil and use that to kind of stuff it in there. I know that some people use um, tweezers, you know, if you make something really small. Um, you might use the back of your crochet hook, but since I'm using a crochet hook that looks like this, my back is, uh, yeah, that's not going to work. Um, but I always just like using something small to get it all in there. I'm going to use a little bit more filling. If I have, you can, yeah, you can kind of see it here. If you feel, often you have like a little bit of filling still coming out. What I like to do is kind of twist these ends together. Like this. And then stuff them in there to kind of um, know for sure that they are all staying together. And you can see I still have a little bit of space, so I'm just going to fill it a little bit more. And then again, you know, I have some stuffing coming out. I like to twitch that, twitch. I like to, um, you know, roll the ends together like this, because that way they all stay together and I know that I have all the ends and tuck them in there. So before I uh, close it, I always like to kind of try to get the stuffing as far inside as possible so that they're not it's not going to be in the way when I'm uh, crocheting. And um, my last round of crochet is just going to be a single decrease, uh, it's just going to be decreases all around. So I'm going to do six decreases. Um, what I like to do, as you can see, is kind of have one hand, have one finger in there to make sure that I don't touch any of the stuffing. One decrease. That's two decreases. Three decreases. I'm doing an invisible decrease, which um, kind of gives you a little a bit of a neater end result. But that also means that I'm only touching the top two loops, which means that um, I actually stay a bit further away from the um, from the you know the fiber fill filling that I put in, and because of that my chances of, you know, accidentally grabbing some filling with my hook are also smaller. Let me count. I need to do one more decrease because at the end I'm just going to have six loops left. Yes. That's it. Let me get my scissors and cut this off. And you can see this gives you a really nice little bowl. If you're interested uh, in knowing how to end this one, um, I'm going to make a video about that. Um, and if you're interested uh, in more shapes um, I have a playlist that I will link to at the end of this video or might already be here so um, hope to see you in the next time uh, if you want to learn more shapes or more tutorials I also do free patterns be sure to subscribe and like this video so that I'm uh, I'm gonna make more and if you have any ideas on what you want to see next just leave me a comment see you next time bye